Hey, mamas. What's good, naptime warriors? So, today I am making a spring wreath for my front door. So here's the thing. Someone very dear to me made a lovely wreath, like really went out of their way, made um, flowers out of pine cones. Like it's just, it's a super sweet wreath. It has like our initial on it, but it has taken a beating over the last few years because there's no, our front door doesn't have like a porch or an awning really to protect anything like that from the elements. So it's, it's sad. I'll insert a clip here. Let's take a moment. Yeah, that hot glue is not holding up. So I wanted to make something that was maybe a little bit more weather resistant. Um, so it was important to me to not use an adhesive. And so I'm gonna show you how I pulled that off. I made a spring wreath. I used only materials from the Dollar Tree. So this is a Dollar Tree DIY. And I hope you like it. Let's get into it. So the materials that I used were all of these um, florals from the garden section at Dollar Tree, as well as two of their circular kind of woven placemats. And I chose to get those in lime green. So the first step was of course taking all of the um, labels and stickers off. But as you see, I got things that had kind of, um, I don't know, like a, a pointy sort of feel to them. Things um, like the faux irises and the faux lavender and cat's tails, things like that. So here's how you get the wreath out of this these two placemats. I am going to draw a circle um, kind of in the middle of the placemat and then cut that out. And that's gonna be the backing for all of my florals. And as you can see, I just went like four or five inches into the placemat and made sure that I cut both circles the same. Now I'm gonna lay out my florals. I tried to get a variety of colors. Um, I stuck with some purples and then I wanted to alternate with some yellow or um, sort of neutral color and then highlight with pinks and of course have some greens in there for balance. So you take the stems, don't cut anything off. You wanna take the stems and just bend them a bit so that they fit that circle shape and they're not so straight. And just lay out the pattern how you like. Now I like everything going in the same direction cause that gives you kind of that windswept circle. But as you go, just kind of lay out your pattern and your colors. I alternated the the neutrals or the yellows in between the purples and then just a couple of little sprigs of pink and now I'm just going in to fill in with the greenery. Meow. It's me. I was just wondering if you could like or subscribe or maybe both because you know maybe this is inspirational to you. Maybe you like cats. Okay, let's get back into it. So now that I have my pattern laid out, I'm gonna take this jute, which is also sold at Dollar Tree. They have little small bundles of it in the garden section. And I'm just going to go around and tie it. At first, I will say, I thought that I needed to weave it sort of into the placemat to give it some, um, um, some better, hold but it didn't seem like that was going to work out too well i couldn't get the jute to go through there it looked like it was going to be way too time consuming so what i eventually came up with was to put the string of jute around 
the back of the placemat and then tying it to the florals, kind of like picking up one of the pieces of the floral and then making a knot and then making a bow. If you can tie a shoe, then you can put this wreath together. Just gonna get a good hold, a good knot. You want it to bunch up, that's gonna add to the, the full look of it. So don't be nervous when it's not staying flat. It's not supposed to, and that's okay. I did also take those loops and double and triple tie some of them. I just wanted to make sure that my knot was secure. And just repeat around the entire circumference of the wreath. So I just wanted to sh make sure you guys could see how I was going um, under the placemats and gathering up everything on top, but also taking the string of jute and kind of weaving it under a part of the top florals. You'll see what I mean. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining it clear enough. So now I'm tying in the pieces of fern for greenery, as well as reinforces some reinforcing some parts that seem to be a little too loose. You'll see that I'm kind of unhappy with the amount of placemat that was showing, even after I zhuzhed up the florals a bit. So I'm gonna go back in and add the ivy which I have to say really completed the look for me. I'm very happy with how it came out in the end. So just to review, this is the old wreath. Lovely, but didn't hold up. And here's the new one. Guys, I really love this. I'm so glad that it came together and the vision of it is really even better than I can imagine. Hopefully it stands up to the elements a little bit better. But yeah, so happy with it. So cute, right? I'm so happy with how that turned out. 
Like I, for a moment, it was kind of touch and go because I wasn't sure like, oh, should I do it this way, that way? But sometimes once you get into a project, it becomes more clear to you what needs to happen with it. So if you try this, I want to see some pictures. Hit me up on Instagram at DIY Mama Tribe. Hit like if you like this video. Comment below if you have questions or if you're working on a project of your own and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this part or I wanna do it a certain way and you could use some help. Like we are a community, we're a tribe here. Let the mamas help you out, girl. Come on. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. I'm feeling like a nap myself.